Hello and welcome to On The Curbs. I'm your host, Timo Alvis Daly. Joining me this week is racing driver Lola Van Fossey. We caught up recently to chat about how she got into motorsport to begin with, what it was like for her to take part in the W Series test in Arizona recently, her racing plans for the future, and much more. So without any more further ado, let's get straight into it, and I hope you enjoy our conversation. Hi Lola, thank you for being here today. First of all, how are you? Hi, yeah, that's good to be here. Thank you. Um, I'm fine. Uh, season is off, but I'm really good. I'm so glad. Happy, happy to hear that you're all good. So, first thing that I always ask everyone on this uh, podcast: What first got you into motorsport? How did I come into motorsport? Mm-hmm. Well, my, my father was uh, driving a bit of go-kart before when he was younger. And he promised basically to himself that when he will have a son, he will put him into my sport. And I have one little brother that is uh, 12 now. And he started karting when he was four years old. But I think it was a bit too early to start and to yeah get into already professional things and I was always coming with them to the racetrack I was watching behind the wall but I I I mean I never asked anything to to drive and one day my my father broke broke his arm on a race and he has to my my father really wanted to to continue so I asked if I could maybe replace him <laughs> And, and yeah, I, I finished in a in a good um, in a good place, and that's where all started. I was going to say you're saying uh, that your brother may be a bit too young to start, and then you kind of got there a little bit later, but at just the right time, so it worked out. Yeah, I I started when I was nine. My okay. first ever test was at eight, but I started like really serious at nine. And at this moment, my my little brother wanted to move to motocross, so he moved there. And yeah, basically, I started at this moment, and that's where me and my father started to watch for bigger races with higher level, and with um, yeah, where we could what we could do in which team we could drive. And at, it was at, at that moment that we we started really to be. Yeah. I can say it, it sounded like it worked out quite well in the end there with, 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 with both of you and your brother there. So it's nice that you can both continue and, and do the racing that you yeah. enjoy doing. Yeah, and my brother is one of the first uh, fan. He is, um, yeah, following me everywhere. Um, <laughs> this year has been a bit difficult because of COVID, so he couldn't uh, join to any of my races except the last one in Barcelona. But um, yeah. Anyway, he he has his own passion, let's say, but he's still around motorsport. And I have mine with my father. My father is also following my brother. Anyway. Which one of you is the better driver? Me, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it's different because he's uh, super young compared yeah. to me. But uh, we have fun together anyway. And talking of fun, you got to have a go in the W Series test in Arizona a little while back. What was that like? Oh, well, they have called me around end of November to to yeah to go to that test in Arizona. Um, well, I was super surprised that they called me at this moment because I'm 16. Is, is it still very young to get in, into woman series? And I was more uh, focused on it for the next season, 2023. Mm-hmm. And well, um, I was, I, of course I was waiting uh, something to go there, like as always when I go on track, but I kept on my mind that if it was not this year, it's not dramatic or anything. Mm-hmm. Is it can be? It can even have uh, some good points. So yeah, I there was super intense week um, between media and 
the debrief, which is really, really strong debrief there with professional engineers. Um, it was a new career for me because it's not Formula 4 of yeah. um, the Spanish championship. So it was a bit different for me, uh, but I managed to get used to it uh, super quick. And yeah, it was really nice to meet uh, the people who worked with W Series, first of all. And yeah, I was happy, to be honest, to, to take part of this in there in, in Arizona. And say an unexpected but good experience for you, like you say, and you never know next year. Then you might you might get uh, you might get the call again. Yeah, yeah, that's what because uh, yeah. To I will say now, but I got the the answer that was um, well negative, obviously, because they have told me that yeah, I did a great job over there. They were happy with them because they are really really looking also at your sportive image, but outside of the car. It's yeah. super important. And yeah, they were happy on of the performances and track um, and everything that were outside of the car. But yeah, they told me you, you are way too young. Um, so yeah, but I mean, in the, the end of this um, text by telling me that they will, of course, keep an eye on me this season and that I will be called back in for the next election. So, um, yeah, I'm... You never know. I'm calm. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm quite calm anyway because I have my from a fourth season that will begin end of April. Hmm. So um, I will be two times more prepared uh, I will have two times more experience, so it's a say, like, bad like thing, you were saying before. It's uh, this whole thing of there's not too much pressure on you for this year that you you didn't want to put that yeah. on yourself. So you just it's yeah. an advantage and you can take it, and then you see what happens. Yeah, totally. And even I knew already before that I could have something in Formula Four this season, so um, it was anyway. You were winning either way. Uh, yeah. It was not so much pressure compared to maybe some girls that were older than me and I was the last issue for 2022, basically. Mm. So, yeah. I was going to say, then you said you, you got used to the car pretty quickly, but what was the most challenging thing that you found in the test? Um, yeah, obviously getting used to that car, uh, especially with the brakes that were opposite to the other car that I was driving. Um, you have to be super uh, smooth and released super quick. And in the Formula Four of the Spanish Championship, is keeping the the yeah the break uh, as long as you can until the corner basically. So um, well, that was one of the most challenging thing. And after, to be honest, it was um, I would say the track that was pretty tricky. It's yeah, I think all the drivers over there has said in an interview or somewhere that it was super technical track. And um, it was uh, testing you. <laughs> um, yeah, well, um, it's super, it's up and down, it's fast and slow corners. It, you have so many corners where you have to get confidence super quick. Um, yeah, it's a really challenging track, but. I, I really liked it anyway. It was um, good to to have to test a new track. I say, it but, looked like a really nice track to to at least look at. So I mean, driving is a different thing, but uh, yeah, it, <laughs> you learn that pretty quickly. Of, uh, of the USA, it's a super like you can see you're in the because Arizona is middle of nowhere. Yeah, it's, uh, it's super desert or over there. Like you, you have nothing around except the hotel, the restaurant, and then the track. Um, but yeah, I, I liked it. Um, it was a super good experience. And again, then you're saying for you've got Formula 4 plans for this year. What are your aims for this season? Uh, well, for this season, uh, my goal would be, of course, uh, to be in the top 10 at the end of the championship. Because this season, I... It was my first season. I didn't have so much testing compared to the others. And mm -hmm. so this um, 
this year was, um, no, I mean, the, the previous season was based on uh, getting confidence, uh, getting to know the all the tracks, the car. It, it was to take experience, but this season I'm super determined to, yeah, to, to get results this time, to, to really show. I, I am lucky because I found um, with my parents enough budget to be in a great team. Um, so this, of course, will, will help. Um, and yeah, I I have good people around me to work. I I'm now in a company um, where they manage me and coach me, which is road to success. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I I know that I have everything. Let's say between my hands for now to be super good this season. Um, and yeah, we, we are going to start to test um, beginning of April and the first race of the season will be in Portimao 27 and 8 of, um, of April. I have to keep an eye out. <laughs> Thank you. So then going back to, the, to last season from the fourth then a little bit, do you have like a favorite racing moment from, from that season? Um, I would say uh, race three of the season uh, in Portimao. Uh, Portimao has been my favorite track uh, since now. I'm noticing this, uh, yeah. It, it has been super uh, surprised uh, because as soon as we were testing there, I was in a good shape, um, in a really good, let's say, a pace shape, whatever. Um, I was feeling super good uh, and confident. And yeah, during the races, I, I could see where, uh, was, where were my limits. And I was um, feeling super good because I could fight with people that were obviously sometimes in top five, top 10. And yeah, this were, was really, really appreciated. <laughs> Let's say. So it shows, um, shows that you're making progress, especially as it was your first season. Just it helps when it's the, only the third race as well. I, I was really super close of top 10. I finished P13. Um, and in, in race three and in race two, I finished, I think, P15. So we were getting closer and closer um, at each races. And yeah, this was uh, also some, let's say, one of the declic that I had to um, yeah to to get the the most um, difficult thing for me last season was getting confident with the car mm -hmm. in in the for example fast corners the one that you have to take some risks and everything this was let's say the biggest topic that I had this season and after Portimao it started to get better and better and yeah it's it was really so, good. so theoretically if it starts at Portimao this year then the rest of the season should be fine <laughs> yeah <laughs> hopefully um yeah it, it, it's super good that we can start um by Portimao first do you have any motorsport role models um woman or either doesn't matter yeah as a model I would say Max Verstappen uh, if we take one of yeah, those uh, moments, uh, because I really like his way of being in, uh, on track and off track. He is a super aggressive driver. I like, I really like his way of uh, determination. And you can see even if it's bit like behind cameras or behind his helmet that when he wants something, he he in his mind he already got it and i yep. i like this way of um, of thinking and yeah he's one of my models from now not not a bad choice i think other people will be agreeing <laughs> with you there yeah so then uh which racing track would you love to race on in the future that's a good one <laughs> <laughs> um oh. Too much choice, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Um, let me think. We've got the tough questions now. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, but 
I think I like the kind of tricky tracks and I think I would like to to try Monaco. I was going to say, as soon as you said tricky, I thought Monaco. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I would love to drive from Monaco. It's, I mean, it's a super, you have to be super smooth with everything. <laughs> you can't, you can't and, make any mistakes there. Yeah, and you have to be super precise and everything. I think I would like that track. Monaco, good answer. I like it. I like it. Mm-hmm. And then a couple of questions to finish off that are nothing to do with racing. What do you like to do for fun when you're not racing? Um, I've always been uh, a sportive person. Like when I don't, when I'm not racing or at school, um, I'm always having or going to the gym. Um, but if I would say something I really like to do when I'm not racing and I'm over here at home, I would say. It's super basic, but I'm going That's to the fine. gym every day. I'm going ev- to the gym every day, uh, one or two hours, it depends. And it's something where I take pleasure a lot. Mm-hmm. It's uh, And it's good because it prepares me for the season. Yeah. So There's two has, things in one, it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, positive things. But I really like and, uh, the... Um, how can I say the the company with who I work uh, of management and coach so road to success as I said mm-hmm. before um I I'm some sometimes I'm going over Madrid where they they are based and I'm I'm having some trainings with the, my coaches over there and some other drivers from Formula Four Formula Three. Or, it's back back or, into racing already. Yeah. So fun away yeah. from racing and it's already going back in the direction. <laughs> exactly. And yeah, sometimes we are a few drivers and we go to, to train over there, which is super nice. Definitely, definitely. And then do you have a favorite animal? Mm, cat. <laughs> cat, okay. Cat. Cats or dogs, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dogs makes me scared. <laughs> cats it, cats it is then. And then final so, question: What is your you know? least favorite food? Um, I don't have a like favorite plate, but I love plates with truffle. <laughs> okay, okay. Nice truffles. And then what's what's one thing that what's one food that you really hate? I don't know how to say in English. <laughs> it's all right. We can... uh, well, I'm going to explain. Maybe if you find out the word, you can tell me. But I, 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 can, I can put it in. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like uh, a base of... Um, it's, it's like homeland, you understand? Like, yeah, uh, okay, yeah. Eggs, eggs a bit... Um, I don't know what to say. And it's... Uh, it's is yeah a circle and you have a kind of bacon inside and it's super um i'm gonna show you is a it, picture if you okay <laughs> I've, I've got ideas but i'm just like, it's not sure if it's that or uh, this ah okay quiche yeah yeah exactly i did ah it's the same as french <laughs> <laughs> I did. all right yeah I I would say yes, I, I really don't like. And my That's mom us. my mom always say that. <laughs> Not so lucky for you then. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I'm glad we got there at the end as I was amusing that it was the same same in both languages. Oh dear. Um well it's been an absolute pleasure chatting with you today, Lola. I want to wish you best of luck for the Formula Four season this year and everything else after that. I'm sure we'll see you in, in W series or something else in in the future. All right, thank you very much. Thanks again to Lola for coming onto the curbs with me, and I wish her the best of luck for all of her 2022 racing endeavours. Join me again soon when I'll be chatting to another famous face from the world of motorsport. 
And in the meantime, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and check out the other videos on the On The Curves YouTube channel and listen to me talk about Formula One, amongst other things, over on the Undercut podcast. Away from YouTube, you can follow me over on Instagram at t.albers.daily.onthecurbs and read my various multiple articles over on Is It Fast and Paddock's Rarity. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you again next week for the next episode.